we've got it all backwards. It's not that people with dementia can't communicate, it's we're not tuning in to learn and understand and listen. There's a lot of people who experience pain and it's not recognised or treated or um, dealt with appropriately and if you stop and think for a moment, that's awful. Pain Check is a new 42 item observational pain tool. It has community protective and subtle pain cues, so community of our face and our vocalisation, protective behaviour, so guarding, and things like changes in activity of daily living. Technology has always had an impact on healthcare. What we're facing today is this whole area of artificial intelligence um, and the ability to use that to improve people's dementia care. So if you look at our app, the way we work is the first of all, we, we find the person's face. We then assess it using looking at facial emotions. We cannot verbalize their dementia uh, or even pain symptoms and so this app I feel personally holds a lot of promise for the future. The moment we know that 60 to 70 percent of people who refer to the DSA program uh, because people perceive the person to have behaviour, actually have an underlying pain issue that's not being met well. So this is going to help us understand below that headline what's really going on and how do we address it differently. I guess the thing that I hope from this collaboration is that we will better understand the voice of people with dementia in this space. But over the next year we expect right across the country as we roll out in the programme to use it with about 4,000 people with dementia to assess better what's going on for them and to see whether that's going to ensure that antipsychotics are used less and pain relief or other ways of supporting people are used more. With tools and new culture and new understanding and respect for people and respect for their agency, we can support a better quality of life.